Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of a great above and beyond episode nine. Glad you could join us today. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today. And um, so, yeah, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe and hit that bell notification. So you are notified when new episodes come out. Um, so today we're going to be working on getting iron. Um, so if we go back into our quest log here, uh, there's this iron for days achievement. So we, what we could do is take cobblestone, mill it down into, uh, gravel and then produce, um, iron. And so th the only downside we played, I think we played with this little end of last episode. So if you didn't see that, go over there, uh, look at the last episode, but, the only downside is we also get, uh, you kind of see in there, um, we also get flint. Well, I don't know exactly the best way of getting flint out of the system and only allowing for um, the iron nuggets to pop out, but uh, it is what it is. But So what I was thinking of doing is creating a cobble gen with a... Um, a drill up here and then we'll just feed this here with uh, the cobble and then we'll just make a bunch of um, uh, make a bunch of cobble or gravel and then make iron and then we'll have tons of iron uh, right now we're running actually pretty low on iron I don't know this is pretty much the extent of iron that I have <laughs> so we're in a little bit of a trouble with iron uh, we've been using iron pick pickaxes for a long time, and we go through them quite quickly. Now, if... I, I've been kind of looking in uh, JEI here. Steel uh, is probably our next thing that we're going to get into, so this would require going into tinkers, I think, a little bit more than what we have been. And steel is actually a derivative from iron. So we just need iron ingot running through a blast or bulk blasting to make steel. And that's what I kind of want to do. I want to get to steel because this will allow us to produce, uh, let's just say here, a pickaxe. And the durability is 910. Plus we can add some upgrades and it does, it has mining speed or mining level of diamond and it has a mining speed of like seven. Um, and it has three upgrades and one ability. So we can add a whole bunch of things here. And I think this would be the best bet moving forward especially if we can get iron uh quite freak or quite easily and i think that'd be the best way we just got to figure out how to separate out the um the the nuggets or the uh flint i'm sorry and i'm not exactly sure i don't know if it really matters if they both mix in here it might be that once there's enough flint in here it actually makes a flint block as you can see here i have eight of them so it's possible that it doesn't matter if there's iron nuggets in there at all. So let's just try something out. I'm just going to throw this in here. I'm going to go sleep. And when we come back, we'll take a look and see what, we, uh, what we're getting out of there. So it might not matter if there's two different types in there. It's just going to produce if uh, whatever block it has, if there's enough or an iron. Yeah, it seems like it's going. So there's 16... Look at that. And I think, perfect. So actually that's gonna work out really slick. So it's not really gonna matter so much. It's gonna create flint blocks. Now I'm not sure if there's a, a total amount of storage space in here. So if we get not enough, um, or if we get, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't think there'll ever be a, a time where there's gonna be a half a stack and half a stack. Well, it doesn't, it takes only nine, iron nuggets to create an iron ingot. So I don't think we'll ever have an issue. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. I went ahead and grabbed some of the materials that we're gonna be needing. I do have the lava bucket, we do have water nearby. And my idea here is we'll, we'll produce it up here and then we'll bring it down into there using uh, a funnel. Also, uh, in, just, just got on and was kind of like running around getting some supplies and taking a look at things. My tree was on fire. There was like a flame on top of the tree trunk. All the leaves burnt off. I had to grow a new tree. I have no idea why that happened. So interesting. I know. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and get some stuff crafted here. Uh, first things first is we're going to need to build a drill. So if we go in here and we look up drill, that's going to require some iron sheets, iron nuggets, and some lead. And I think I have all that is needed for that to be created. Yes, we do. And then the next thing is we need uh, andesite machine and the drill. Uh, we have an andesite machine we do. And we do have tons of andesite machines, so I'm not really too worried about this. Um, and now the other issue we might need to do is build a fan. I'm not sure. Yeah, because the cobblestone generator that we have down, down below, creating our andesite cobble gen, well, we have other cobble coming up as well. Um, that is... That is currently um, using a fan to pull the blocks away from the lava and the water. So I'm wondering if we don't need to do something some Actually, I don't even know if we have enough iron to make a fan. So I'm literally like out. Yeah, we need four sheets of iron. Do we... I could go melt this down into iron ingots. I wonder if I can melt down iron swords. That would be interesting. Um, let me go do that real quick. Let me see once. I thought I read somewhere that you can actually mill them down. Mill down certain items. Yeah, no, never mind. You can't mill down the, the swords at all. I think the armor you can. But let's see here. Can we throw this in here? Oh, yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to mill this down. This is going to create a couple ingots, I think, for us. Do we have any iron in here at all? We do have some iron bars. We do have nuggets. No. So um, at some point in time in the next little bit, we're going to definitely gonna have to upgrade our smelting to be a little bit more efficient, maybe a little bit larger than what we have currently, because uh, this is not working out. Uh, also, we're gonna be needing to do some farming um, as well. So we'll have to set up another a different type of farming method. I think we'll automate it so that we're either getting t uh, potatoes or uh, we should probably find out what's in Farmer's Delight and see what kind of food that we can make fairly easily with vegetables. And I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of like stuff to, uh, that takes meat. And we don't have any meat right now. Cabbage rolls. Yeah. So there's got to be something in here that we can make that will, you know, fill us up a little bit better than what we're currently at. And I think there's got to be something. Yeah. Oh, it looks like our iron's done. Uh, that's enough iron to get our fan. Let's go up here and get everything we need and to get that fan built. All right, I got everything here to produce the fan, so the fan blade at least. Let's go in here, grab, the, or I'm sorry, it's a propeller. That, and then we add those together, perfect. Now, uh, we just need to make this work here. I'll throw everything in there. I am watching the sediment or the strainer bases here where they're getting really close to being done so I'm going to have to replace those at some point in time. Let's level off an area here that we can doesn't have to be too big of an area just enough that we can make this work here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do something. There's the dirt. Let's fill this dirt spot back in here. All right, so we'll have our lava there. And then I think we'll do something like this. And have our water source there. Perfect. Um, and then we'll have our drill. So I think I'm going to stick that in the center. And then we'll have our drill. Oh, we're going to have to point it in the right direction. 
I still haven't figured out how to get this to go the direction I want. There we go. <laughs> and we got to get this hooked up. This might take up just a little bit of time. Um, we will use a fan to pull items back. So I think, um, I think what we're gonna do here is the belt is gonna run underneath here and over to that direction so that we can import items into the grinder. It might speed up that grinder as well because it'd be nice to produce a lot faster. So that, I think that's gonna be a goal as well. Um, oh, actually, I don't want that there. Fan is going to sit like this. Perfect. And we'll make sure that it's pulling this way so it will pull the items, or the blocks, hopefully that way. Um, I don't think I grabbed any... I did not grab any... shafts with us. We should probably create a couple more. All right, perfect. Now we'll put this here and then we'll just need to figure out where, actually it could probably go right there. I think this is gonna work out. Oh, perfect. And then we'll have it drop into a, so I'll pick this up. And I have a andesite funnel. We'll have something like that. Cool. So things will be funneling in. Uh, we do need to change the direction of this, though. There we go. So it's going in, not out. And then everything should be going out of it. Now the question is getting everything hooked up. Um, this is going to work, I think, hopefully, pretty decently. Uh, let's grab our gearboxes. Now, I wouldn't mind having this a little bit quicker than other setups. So what's the best way of doing that? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to work on setting that up so that because uh, it, it, it takes me a while. I don't have that quite down yet. It's a lot of fiddling, changing switching, that kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and do that. It's just going to take me <laughs> maybe an hour to make sure that I have everything going the right direction and that I'm not um, making things horribly wrong like that. Like, come on. Um, yeah, probably something along that lines. I think that will probably make it fast enough. But I also have to hook up the fan too. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. All right, I got everything set up. I just realized that I have, this is all andesite cobble, <laughs> not just regular cobblestone. Um, oops, my mistake. I'm gonna probably replace that because that's kind of pretty valuable right at this moment. So, um, but I do have everything set up. It's ugly, super, super ugly, but it will work. Um, we just need to remove these and replace them. I didn't test it yet, so I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work, but we will, we'll, we'll give it a shot. So we might as well use this. Um, one more, I need it. And we'll put the water here and the lava over here. So we'll place the lava source there. Let's go grab some water. And the water source will go here. And I'm hoping this will now work once I have it all hooked up. Let's see. Hey, working. Slow, but let's see. Items are not being dropped in though. Or is it full? Nope. It's not going in for some reason. Um, okay, what if we take one of these and we put it... 
nope, 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 wrong. <laughs> I want it right at the end here. Oh, wait. Oh, it's going now. That's kind of what I expected. What did I have? Did I maybe have a different type of gravel or something that was... I don't know. Something was wrong. Um, it wasn't allowed to go in there. So this is producing at a decent rate. The fan's working pretty good. Uh, the stress units, this one's a little bit high, but the fan is doing pretty good. It's pulling things out before it gets destroyed. So that's working pretty slick. Now, the question is, are we going to have... Are we going to get lots of iron now? I hope so, because we're going to need it. We definitely need it. Um, I'm thinking of actually taking these out of here, because we do not need to have this at all. So let's just get rid of this, and then we will... Um, just continue this, I guess. All right, we're going to create an issue. No, what we'll do is do something like that, then throw this down to there. Perfect. And then we can shorten this up. Like so. Perfect. We can take that out. Awesome. And we'll just have that go straight in there. Because there is no point in having uh, a chest there at all. It's just using up more space and using up more materials. So we'll just have it go into there. Uh, unless we have the ability to uh, maybe pull from that at some point in time, then I don't, I don't think it's really necessary. Cool. Uh, let's try to speed up this grinder. Or the... What is it? It's not a grinder. It's a... You know what I'm saying. Uh, but we got to figure out a way to speed this up. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. Oh, we don't want to disconnect that. So that gearbox has got to stay. We just need to figure out how we can... Are we running out here? Oh, we're out of strainers here. Let me go fix that um, and speed that up. And um, I will be back once I have that sped up a little bit. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. We're being attacked by pillagers. <laughs> Take that, big boy. Oh, man, we got a bunch of them here. Make sure we eat. Oh, shh. Get running here. Um, yeah, these, are, these guys are always fun. And they show up. Try to take out the ones that have... Um, let's do a little bit of hiding here. Oh, they're... They're rocking and rolling here. Uh, we do get money from killing these guys, so... It's actually kind of a, a good thing that they show up. I hope that was everything. <laughs> Always hate when they show up. Um... We did get a banner. We can actually turn that in for some silver, which is awesome. And then we haven't bought anything off the market either. And we could use some things to sell. Um, I wonder if we could sell, like, the extra cobble or something. Um, we can go in here. And then the market. I, uh, the bulletin board? Yes. And we just submit this. And then we get 10. And then we also clear the bad omen if we had it. Which I don't realize. I didn't realize if we have one or not. Let's go over here. Um, <laughs> let me get this set up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got quite a bit faster. I made it uh, a complete utter mess up here, but this is running a lot quicker and will hopefully produce a lot more iron for us. There's an iron. It's not a ton, and some of the stuff doesn't have any. I mean, it's, there's a chance. Uh, if we go back in here and we look up um, iron, I think iron ingot, or iron nugget, if we look at the washing chance, um, oh, sorry, washing, uh, we can see gravel, you get two iron nuggets, which you have a 12% chance, so it's not a super high chance of getting it, but it's still going to be something better than having to go and mine iron, so... And we'll have a ton of flint. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we really care about that, but um, 
But yeah, so what do we have in here? So we got a few iron in there. Oh, there's two. And as long as we can kind of keep this rocking and rolling, which we'll have it infinitely, um, we're good to go. Now, the only problem, though, is that we don't have any way of um, manually doing this now. So if we need to put in other items, um, maybe we could add a... Yeah, maybe not. Oh, this is backing up as well. I'm not sure how that's going to affect things. Maybe they'll just disappear at some point in time. Um, but yeah, we'll, well, at least we'll have, <laughs> uh, hopefully, enough iron for a while. I don't know if I can speed this up any more than I have currently, but I don't know. Uh, so that is one thing. Now, the next, let's... Um, do, I do have some more chests here. Let's throw some more chests down. I want to throw my coins in here. We do have more than 10. Do we have anything in here that we really could use? So let's go to, not the bulletin board, the market. Um, How much, how much does it take to make gold? 64 to make one gold, okay. Because I was thinking some of these things, like the saw everything, the saw that doesn't uh, get doesn't get used up, doesn't get consumed, that would be kind of nice to have, but that takes five gold and a diamond saw, which is fine. We can make a diamond saw. Um, the screwdriver, which we, we're not there yet. This magnet would be really nice, but we don't have... We aren't... Can we make this? Sapphire? Oh my god, we can probably make this. Oh, it's a... It's not a magnet. <laughs> I don't think so. Not consumed in the assembly process, so it's to make something. Is there a magnet in here? There is a magnet. It's a charm, but it requires energy. So we don't have any way of getting a magnet currently. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, it would have been nice, but it is what it is. Um, let's see how we're doing down here. I think we're producing more flint than anything else. Oh, we got two iron ingots. So, I mean, it's better than nothing. So, uh, hey, right? Uh, we could go probably really extreme with this and have maybe a couple... Oh, uh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, a couple of these millstones running and then have them just, like, kind of going through here like crazy, but... Uh, we'll go with that for the time being um, and go from there. Let's check on our sediment. Yep, we're out completely on these ones, so might as well refill them. And I'm going to empty my uh, stuff here. We have flint. Oh, come on. The hopper in here, the shafts, all the stuff that we normally would carry around on us. Really don't want this bow. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, the next thing, so let's go in here and take a look at two. So we do need to go and find a meteor so we can get Skystone. We can like basically unlimit it of that. Um, we did get the iron for days, so we can actually cross that off the list. Cross this off the list and Okay, what do I need here? Oh, I need gravel. Do I not have any gravel? Why don't I actually just make some manually? Just so it's happy. Then we can cross it off the list. Um, and then also... There we go. Perfect. Uh, cross that off the list. And then we just need an iron nugget to get this one. Perfect. Uh, washing the gravel with an encased fan leaves you with iron nugget and flint. Yep, we're aware of that. Uh, get melted. Okay. Uh, route the nuggets into our high-tempered melting equ uh, melting equipment. A melter from Tinker Construct, for example. What? Do we get more? Um...
All right, I gotta sleep here, but uh, we're gonna take a look at this. Okay. Um. Do we get a better one nugget is one nugget. So how many nuggets does it take to make iron? Man, man, that's uh Okay, so, like this is what how we're doing it currently to make iron ingots. Let's do some science here. Uh let's grab our nuggets. We got six nuggets right now. Yeah, we got six nuggets. Let's go test this out. I'm kind of curious how many nuggets it takes to produce one ingot. All right, so we have oh, currently in the middle of casting something. Is that iron maybe? I'm thinking it is. Just throw an iron ingot in there and see if it pours. It does. Oh boy. We might have to go steal some. Well, we can always go get another thing of iron. Okay. That finished. So, okay, that's one, two, and then three. Okay, so it's more than three. So let me go grab some more iron. I don't think I have any down here. Oh, I do have iron. I have some down here. So three. Four. Five. It's not quite full yet. Six. Seven. So it's probably going to take nine. Eight. Yep. Definitely going to take nine. So. Yeah, that's finished. Um, so it's really no different. Now. In here, it has a copper can. Okay, so what can you use a copper can for? I'm, I'm not familiar with this at all. So I'm not 100% sure. Route the nuggets into our high temperature melting equipment. A melter, a melter from Tinker Contracts, for example. I don't. Okay, so what can I do with this? Contains one. Yeah, one ingot goes into here. So what are they saying? I don't follow what this is trying to say. It's almost just saying like, create your iron. Are we gonna need it for something else here? Oh, okay. Here we go. This is what we need. Spout, um, spout a droplet of molten iron onto the rose quartz crystal to create a fully functional electron tube. Okay, so this is part of a, a much larger process. That is what is going on. Okay. We, we need that for the next step. Um, all right, so let's go back into here. Uh, temporary sand. So we need quartz, but we also need stand, uh, skystone mixer, which 
Uh, dissolves this strange reactive powder in water. Creates a fun and useful liquid. Okay. So that must then bring us into changed mixture. Discharging an energized Sirtis Quartz crystal into the liquid creates a solution that reminds you of liquid redstone. Hmm. Notice that the mixing process returns the inert quartz ready to be recharged using contraption number 14. Set up a little cycle of or uh, a little cycle to recharge any surge quartz used as a catalyst in contraption 13.2. The chapter from AE2 can be used here along with the item transport of choice. Whoa. Um <laughs> this is getting the this is getting there. Okay. So this gets the iron to drop onto this process. We need to get sky stone, and then we're at some point in time we're gonna have to do quartz crystal. So we gotta automate this process, get it growing. I see that it says contraption 13. Like, is there like a book or something that, that kind of describes where we're going here? Hmm. Okay, well. I guess, I guess. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> this is, this is crazy. Um, I think we're going to have to go find Skystone, I think, next. So we got the metal, or the, the iron, and that's going to be processing. And then at some point in time, we're going to need to take the iron and then process the iron out. Um, is there a way to... I don't... probably don't have a way of putting another... Another one of these guys here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's not a way to add two into this. Two of those grind uh millstones, but I don't think so. Not for the time being. Okay, we'll have to rethink that. Maybe in between episodes I can find out a way to put two of them on there. Maybe we just bring them back further in the line here. You know, maybe we put them back here and then have one on one side, one on the other side, and then they just um, export them into the center, something along that lines. Well, they're going to be kind of offset, that's right, because this is going to take up, I think... I don't think you can put two of these next to each other. I'd have to try that out at one point in time. I don't think this can take up... I think this takes up a full block, so... Um, okay, uh, I, I was thinking about doing steel, but we might be... Yeah, I think I think we should. Now, let's, let's maybe try to get into Tinkers, and maybe we won't get completely into Tinkers in this episode, but... Um, we can get started at least. So we can use a mixer to make grout. Let's see here. If we do it manually, it's just one clay ball, sand, and gravel. And that makes two and two. So we can manually do it or we can just pipe it through here. Um, and we could technically make grout pretty easily by using a sediment strainer and then just mix it in a mixer and we i think i might just do that um yeah i think that's going to be the way to go so let's grab some andesite got a basin made here um uh, we're going to need a mixer so we need a whisk uh we need iron then two andesite. Do we have... We're pretty limited on iron currently. <laughs> ah, we got... 
We got a few here. We got eight bars. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is the total that we need. Oh, we have no room in here. Let's just throw that in there. So we'll let that go. We'll make the mixer. I do have an andesite machine. And we have, well, actually, we have a ton of them. Um, and I think, well, I'm going to make a basin, or not the basin, we have to make the sediment. So we'll get both sand and clay. Um, sediment. What was it called? Sediment base? Um strainer base yeah there we go or do i have I thought i had some some of the bars up here i know i melted a bunch down there uh oh we have iron ingot there do i not have any okay i'm gonna go make some real quick and i'll be right back all right we got that so now we can add Oh, actually, we're going to make the whisk first. I think it was that, and then two andesite. Oops. Like that. Perfect. There we go. And then the strainer base was just andesite with that. Grab one of those. Oops, not that. There we go. All right, so now we just need to automate this. We need to grab everything we need. Oh, not that. Those and those. Cogwheels. Thought I had more Cogwheels. I'm missing the large cogwheels. I only have one? Oh no. Do -do -do. I'm going to have to make more cogwheels, I think. Um, best place to do this is a good question because kind of running out of room here. Maybe we'll do it right over here. So we'll have our sediment base sitting up on top of some stone. Basically like what we have over here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think what I'll try to do is mimic the same thing so we can do more than one at some point in time. Let's grab these. And we'll start there. Get that the right direction. Put that there. And then we'll just go a little ways. We don't have to go a mile long. And then we'll add the mixer, say, here. There we go. Perfect. Now we just got to get that hooked up. Um, and then we can just actually turn that that direction. Put the strainer there with strainer in it. Oh, I need to get some... Well, that's a used strainer. Or no, never mind. That's not used. That's just... A, that's deep. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. Um, place that on there. So we're exporting. And then that when we're importing... Then we need a chest. We'll put cobblestone. Oops. Cobblestone, a chest down. And then andesite. There we go. So this should, in turn, get us grout. We just got to get this water and then this power. How do we want to do that? The mixer's got to be have enough speed. Let's see if I can just use it with 
make enough speed. Uh, actually, let's go on the other side. Oops. I think I'm going to need to make another large. Did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. I think I need to put the large one here first. And then put the small one there. And then I need another large one. So yeah, I'm gonna need need to go make some more things, some more cogwheels. I'll be right back. Alright, I got it all hooked up. That should work. And all we need really need to do is we could build another uh, strainer base with some more sediment. Uh, we do need water, and we do need to have some... Oops, 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 oh my gosh. Temporary yeah, sand. <laughs> there we go. Um, do we have any... Trap doors? Do, 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 do. Probably not, so let's make some. Oh, you know what, I do have some birch, but we'll make it out of oak. I think they look nicer. Perfect. Put that stuff away. Cool. Let's go fill this baby up with water. Uh, we need cobble to go on top of it first. What's the best way? I don't think I can place... Can I place cobble right there? I can. Oops. And then you can just remove that cobble there. And I think... Yep. That's good. And then you just got to place this on the bottom rung. Now, the reason why I have... That's not the right direction... Um, the reason why I have one on the bottom as well, and if you haven't played around with this at all yet, if you do not have a strainer in here, the, the what's going to happen is the water actually spills out. So you have to have a trap door on the bottom as well. So Because once that's done, you're going to have a mess. It's not the direction I think I'm going to have problems. Unless I build out here. Kind of have to be directly underneath. Is there? Oh, okay. Perfect. Now. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if I can stand up here. There we go. Uh, open this up. Get rid of this guy here. And then grab your water. Slosh it up there, close these up, and you can keep that on top if you need to. And this will start producing. And so once we have sand and clay, I think that's all it is, right? Grout in the mixer. Oh, we need gravel. Shoot. Um, that's fine. We can we can manually put gravel in there. Let me go sleep real quick, and I'll be right back. This is going to be kind of short term. It's just going to create some of this stuff for me instead of me doing it. Um, but I think what we're going to do is just grab some cobble. Do I have any cobble in here? Andesite cobble. Um, I don't have any cobble. Not a lot of it, at least. I wonder if I can just grind up any of this cobble down here. Is that andesite cobble? Do I have regular cobble in here? Oh, I have a bunch of andesite cobble. Sweet. Yeah, probably not. Um, let me go find some cobble to make it into gravel so that we can make this grout. So it'll be back. All right, so I threw a little bit of, um, little bit of gravel there. And there we go. We get our first bit of grout. Uh oh, sandy cobblestone. Interesting. I don't know how that happened. Why are we getting... 
Uh oh, we're we're getting flint when I don't want flint. Let's uh, put a filter on there. Interesting. What is? What was in there? <laughs> There's a trap door. Interesting. Do we have any clay? Okay, gravel, sand. Don't see any. I wonder if this is going to become an issue, but we'll see. Uh, we just got to wait for clay to, to happen. Um, is there any other way of getting clay better? Clay, we can make some clay lumps. So it looks like sand. We can take sand and throw it through a... Oh, that's what we're going to do. Oh, shoot. We don't even have this right. Because this isn't going to give us clay, is it? Yes, it will. But we also need the sand. Huh. We might need to make this a little bit longer. And then have one of these sitting here. And then having a washing and then have another one set back there so that some of the sand from the, the first, the one after the cleaning, or not the cleaning, the, um, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> one's going to be before and after. One's going to make the, the clay balls, and the other ones are going to make the sand. Um, and that is going to probably be the best way. Or I just make it manually, too. Because none of this is going to make clay. Yep. Um, I'm actually thinking of uh, removing this one here, and then we can put it down on the other end. So let's do something like this. And then we can get rid of this guy here. Is this hooked up to anything? No. Perfect. And that should... Well, don't, don't do that. That just makes a mess. <laughs> uh, let's put that that direction, and then we can get rid of this one now. Perfect. Cool. Then we can use this over here. Um, I am going to have to move this stuff. I don't think... Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to destroy stuff and then put it down. Let's just stop that for the time being. All this work has got to go. Unfortunately. And I should be able to pick all that stuff up. Alright, good. Now we got a, a complete utter mess here. Um, fish is jumping out of water. Let's see how far we can go with this. This should be good. There we go. And we will we'll leave this one here, maybe. And then down towards the end, we'll have put our mixer down. Why don't we have the mixer like right at the end? Makes some more sense. Put that on top. And then the fan. Why don't we have the fan? Right here. Just flip this around. There we go. Oh, actually, nope. Can't put the fan there. Fan has got to go, like, right here. Oh, come on. What? Go with the direction I want you to go. <laughs> um, does that help? No. I have no clue. This thing is just... It fights me. It fights me. There we go. Um, yeah, because we, we need to power this. Uh, let's see here. Put that there. And horizontal will be fine. Uh, we'll probably gear this and the fan both the same, I'm guessing. Grab some cobble. Two, three... 
You know what? I'm kind of half tempted. Do I need to have a bunch of those or do I just need to have it running through water? So if I do something like, like this, Uh, let me go sleep real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, let's grab some water. And then if I set that there, we can close... Actually, we can close all but that one because we want the air movement to be pushing that way to clean it up. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Shoot. I got this way too close. Because we're going to need a sediment just for just for the sand. So we can have the sand there. Okay. And then we'll set the fan. Just set the fan there. That should be that should be good. Perfect. And then we can always set up another one here if we need to. We can just double the uh, double the amount of input. Let's put that there. And I think I'll somehow hook these two up together and also increase the speed. Then we put our water down like so. Sweet deal. Um. And then we're going to have to go create another sediment base. But we might as well get um, the clay rock and roll in here first. Let's get all that stuff out of there. Put this down with a chest. I, hopefully I could place down a funnel. Yes, I can. Perfect. Is that? It's kind of cool. Now the question is, how are we going to hook these things up? <laughs> um, Where's my small? There we go. Alrighty. So, what's the best way of getting these rocking and rolling? Um, I'm thinking we set up the speed here. And then we'll hook both of them up together. Uh, I'm not really digging that at all. I actually kind of want to put it on top. Can we put a large one on top there? There we go. That'll work, right? Then place that there. That's going to intertwine with that. I can't do that. Let me get this hooked up. Um, again, I don't want to bore you. <laughs> this just, it takes me a long time to get this working. I'll be right back. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at all the clay going. And we can actually stop this wind um, or the, the fan blowing super hard this way. Um, You know what I just noticed, though? That... I got like 100% clay off of that. Am I supposed to? Yeah. So sand, clay, perfect. We're getting a bunch of clay. And then let's throw, let's actually tell this to be grout completely. Um, where do I have grout? Grout. So you are mixing grout. Uh, don't throw grout in there. Just <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, now the question is, oh, no, what? I didn't really leave room. I didn't leave room to put the stuff that we need. <laughs> oh man. Uh, maybe I could just move the fan up a little bit. Uh, Cause we need to make another sediment base and I don't think I made enough room for that. Crap. Um, iron bars, which I know I've got.
I don't still have it up here. So let me go grab them, uh, make this, and see what we can do. All right, let's go ahead and make our sediment base here. We do need to make some more trap doors because we are out. Uh, we got an oak trap door there. All right, that should be enough oak trap doors. Let's throw some of this stuff in here if we can. We are running out of space really quick. Okay, let's go see if we can place this over here without an issue. I'm guessing it's going to be an issue. But we'll see. I would like to place the sediment base here. I can't set that there. Oh, no. You are going to do this to me. You know what? We have room. We do have room. We'll make it right here. Sediment. Oh no. Never mind. We don't have room. We don't, you, you are in my way. Um, let me go sleep. I'm going to have to get this figured out. Let me um, get everything working. Maybe I'm going to have to jostle things around. Um, and then I'll bring you back in and show you what I figured out or how I got it to work. Because it's going to take me, I think, probably like a half hour. <laughs> It usually is. Usually takes me way too long to get this stuff figured out, so I'll be right back. Okay, so it didn't really actually take me too long to uh, get this figured out, but the only problem now is I got, got some things backed up here because I'm getting so much clay that I'm wondering if this is going to not work. Probably if there's enough time in between everything. So like sand, go sand, go. I think it's just because this is completely black, uh, backed up with everything that there's so much clay and not enough sand. Let's see, let's throw some sand in there. Sand. And then some clay balls. Are you gonna... Oh, I need gravel. Got to get some gravel. And the clay balls are gonna be the issue. Darn, 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 darn. Uh, can I grab them? Yeah, this is gonna be probably a little bit of an issue. Unless I have some kind of source to keep for gravel. Um, actually, no. I think I have a solution for this. Let's go grab a hopper. Pick up this gravel here. Uh, let's grab a hopper. We could put the hopper on the side. And then we should be able to hopper gravel directly into this. Yeah, like that. And then the gravel should go in. And then we should have our grout. Sweet, we have grout. Now we just need to make the grout. We just need to put it in the furnace to make our, let's see, grout. Just want to make sure that we're not, it, it didn't change recipes on us. Yeah, so the seared brick, and then we can take the seared brick and make our, our smeltery with that. So cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm glad you guys stepped in or stopped by. Uh, to see what I was working on. Uh, we could actually take the grout and run it through the bulk, right? Yeah, the uh, the bulk blasting to make our seared bricks. And maybe that's what I'll do in between episodes just so that we have uh, our grout being auto-processed. And we don't need a ton. So it's not like this is going to be a, a, like a long-term kind of thing. But we might be able to utilize it for some other items as well let's see here this is actually kind of backed up oh we're missing our we're missing some stuff but we're pretty good on kinetic mechanisms right now uh, we're missing the uh the saw so um i don't think i'm going to do i don't think i'm going to make another saw for a little bit but <laughs> yeah um but cool um next episode we are going to work on tinkers because i want steel 
Um, oh, actually, let's take a look and see what we are doing with our iron. Hey, look at that. 20 iron ingots. That's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> um, we have a ton of flint. I don't know what I'm going to use a flint fork. What, what do we use flint for? Um, I mean, well, I know what we use flint for, but is there anything really decent? I mean, we could use it for in tinkers, but it's actually quite useless. Uh, what about flint blocks? We can make pillars. We can make some cool blocks out of them, but it doesn't look like we can really do anything else with it. So we'll just, we'll just have that there. <laughs> we'll just, um, maybe we'll use it up for something, maybe some interesting blocks or whatnot. So, oh, might as well collect all our flint or, our, um, gravel here and go put that in there. But, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as, uh, make sure you guys like the video. It really, really helps with the algorithms on YouTube, uh, gets my videos noticed, um, to more people. So I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any comments or ideas about what I can do here, um, let me know. I really, really appreciate it. And I do read all the comments and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.